Imagine you are adrift on the ocean on a dark and stormy night. You see a lighthouse in the distance, but the storm's preventing you from telling how far away it truly is. You wait with bated breath for the storm to break. I am faced with a similar problem in radio astronomy, except the storms are the size of a solar system and the lighthouse is a pulsar. Pulsars are rotating neutron stars that emit beams of radio waves that sweep across our field of view like a lighthouse. They are useful in many ways that can make your life better. Pulsar rotation can be used to measure time more precisely than atomic clocks. Pulsars can be used to navigate aircraft as an alternative to GPS and I am using them to test Einstein's theory of relativity. When galaxies merge, the colliding supermassive black holes at their center produce ripples called gravitational waves that stretch and squeeze space, subtly altering the distance between us and the pulsar. We can detect this warping of space by looking for minute deviations in the arrival times of the pulsar signal. Einstein had thought it was impossible to detect gravitational waves, and that may not be the case if not for the storms in the way. The space between the stars is permeated with turbulent ionized gas that disturb the timing of pulsars by delaying their signal by several microseconds. I'm researching a way to remove this delay, a way to peer through the cosmic haze in the search for gravitational waves. By using one of the most sensitive radio telescopes in the southern hemisphere, called the Meerkat, to observe a remarkably bright nearby pulsar named J0437-4715, I know it's not a very flattering name, and using algorithms such as the 2D Fourier transform, I'm able to track these interstellar storm clouds by the way they delay the pulsar signal depending on the unique shape and orientation of the radio waves. This delay depending on wave shape is known as birefringence, and it's the same effect LCD screens use to adjust their brightness by rotating polarized light. By measuring, modeling, and removing this interstellar birefringent delay, we are better able to see the pulsar through the storms of ionized gas, thus improving their timing measurements that can detect gravitational waves created by colliding supermassive black holes somewhere in the universe. I'm doing all of this with the help of a next generation supercomputer called OzStar in Melbourne, Australia, without which it would be impossible to analyze the data of the Meerkat. This practice of analyzing streams of such large volumes of data is transferable towards improving the performance of high-speed data networks, such as the internet that we all know and love. Beyond that, what's all of this worth, you may wonder? What can it give us beyond a slew of more mysteries to inspire the creation of new technology, art, and science? Well, not even Einstein knew the answer to that. Thank you.